The future of mass transit, where it's going and how to pay for it, takes center stage in the city of Tucson tomorrow. The city will discuss whether it needs to raise taxes to help pay for a cost shortfall or whether it should come out of the general fund. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is live downtown to tell us more about the direction the city is headed. Bud? Hey, Brooke, you know, the city has always faced a shortfall when it comes to paying for transit. And in the past, they called that a subsidy and had some pretty interesting arguments over the years how to pay for that subsidy. But it's not a subsidy anymore. Since COVID and since free transit, it is now the cost of doing business for the city. I think of it as a utility. It's much like we provide streets and we take care of the streets we provide these transit options. But those transit options come at a cost that up to now the city can't completely cover. This graphic shows how much that utility will cost the city's taxpayers. From $46 million in 2019 to $73 million projected next year. As that line item continues to balloon, the city is looking for a little extra cash to help offset those costs. We have to balance our budget. There's no doubt about it. And we have to look at our entire budget for the coming year, two years, to make sure that, that um, you know, that we're selecting our priorities and that those are adequately funded. To do that, the Tucson City Manager sent this memo outlining some of the options the council will discuss tomorrow. They are potentially a transportation user fee a special taxing district, impact fees, or a tax on rental cars. Increasing one or more of those taxing options seems to have some support since it fits neatly into the city's proposed climate action plan. We need to make this transition away from gasoline and diesel-fueled vehicles, um, and this is part of the big answer. In the past, there were protracted battles over how much the city could afford to subsidize a system meant generally as a transportation system for the poor. But the modern streetcar has changed that perception. Now, transit is a transportation system for students, tourists, residents going to football games or to go shopping or even dinner and to work and has powered extraordinary economic growth along the line. The streetcar has also powered the transition on how people here view mass transit. I wouldn't say instead of cars, but along along with uh, the the infrastructure needs related to car travel, pedestrian travel, bicycle travel, uh, we need to look at all of that. And the city is also looking at another option. They're hoping that the University of Arizona, Pima College, TUSD, can chip in maybe a few million dollars to help offset these costs. Now, they tried that a couple of years ago and didn't get any takers. However, that is a door that they might open once again. Downtown at Ronstadt, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.